Right folks, so um, welcome to another episode of Angle TV with me, Don. Um, right, so we're going to have a little bit of a go at uh, the bodywork on the on the Beetle. Um, it's in a bit of a state. Now, I'm sure like you, I've used touch-up pens in the past and they've all been absolutely terrible. Um, but some of you might have heard of this stuff, Chip X. Um, it's supposed to be like the latest and greatest thing in, in touch-up pens and technology and the videos look good and the YouTube reviews look good um, so I thought I'd give it a go, I've got nothing to lose really because my bonnet's in a bit of a stone chip state as I'll show you um, but we're going to see how we get on, now don't get me wrong I have no faith in this at all that it's going to look or present a repair that looks anything like good enough but I'm going to give it a go anyway and if it doesn't work I'm just going to have the bonnet resprayed so yeah let's, um, let's see how we get on but um, it's a bit of a mess and it'll keep it neat and tidy at least until we get around to doing whatever I'm going to do with the bonnet so uh, let's have a go. Um, this is an honest review. I bought this with my own cash. Uh, if it looks an absolute mess at the end, I'll tell you. So yeah, let's have a go. Right, so hopefully you can see these um, stone chips here. They're kind of all over the bonnet. Um, so this car just hasn't been looked after at all. You can see it everywhere. It's particularly bad here, this area. Um, there's a few down here. There's other bits and bobs on it as well, but it's this this area here is particularly bad. So I'm going to have a go at a couple of these, and uh, yeah, see what um, see what it looks like. Right. So in this kit, you get um, cloths, these micro brushes, a little block that you do the rubbing with. And you get a microfiber cloth um, out there. Rubber gloves. This stuff, the blending solution, which helps the paint blend in. And the polish, that's the final stage. And obviously this is the paint that's matched to your car. So my car is Volkswagen Harvest Moon Beige. Um, so you've got to give it a really good shake. Dab it on, let it dry for 10 minutes, come back, use the blending solution, and then repeat if necessary until you get a result you're happy with and then you polish it off. But um, yeah, so that's the paint. So, I've already cleaned the bonnet, um, but I have seen in other, I've already cleaned the bonnet, but I have seen in other videos, people wipe a bit of the blending solution in um, to kind of degrease it. So I might do that quickly. I just dab a bit on. There's quite a lot of it. So I'm just gonna go over these. Put that down here, so you can see what I'm doing. dab this stuff on just give it a little wipe over I mean some of these spots have started to go rusty already so that's not ideal okay right there's a couple of particularly bad ones so I'm just going to give a couple a go because obviously I don't want the bonnet to look an absolute mess if it doesn't work so I'm going to try the two worst ones this one and this one and uh, yeah see what result we get right so these brushes are quite neat they are like tiny little brushes so you kind of just dab the paint in, dab it on here, and um, you have to build it up so it's higher than the paint. So it doesn't look like, it doesn't matter, it looks like a blodgy mess, because then you wipe it off with the blending stuff. Okay. So gently pull it out. So that's what you get. So I'm gonna dip the brush in here, and I'm gonna apply it to this little spot here. And this one. It was a bit unnatural putting lots of paint on. But supposedly that's what you need to do. Right guys, we're just coming up to kind of like 10 minutes drying time and hopefully you can see it's what we've got is a bit of a kind of like a bit of a blotchy, patchy mess really. So uh, this blending solution is gonna to have to pull off miracles. Okay, so this is the blending bit. You've got this little foam block and a sheet. And the idea is that you wrap that on there and apply the blending solution. Like this. And then you rub across what you filled gently. So let's try. With no pressure.
Okay, so it's taking the paint away. But we've still got a dip in most of these. So they're gonna need redoing, definitely. I might have let it dry a bit too long. So it's, um, it's definitely filled the holes, but I wouldn't say it's like a wonder cure. Having to use a little bit of pressure, which I know you're not supposed to do, but that's the only way it seems to be removing the paint. Yeah, on some of these it's not working at all. Um, on some of them it's worked quite well, on others it's just a mess, so I'll show you. Okay, so these ones here, you can still see the holes. This one here, you can still see the hole, hopefully. Um, this one here just hasn't worked at all. But sort of generally speaking, the bonnet looks a bit better just because it's had a bit of touch-up paint. Um, I've done the big one up there. That's got a big line on it. Now I know they say you might have to redo some of them, so I'm going to do that because I'm sort of 50-50 about it. So I'm going to give it another go. And I'm going to get on with that and do that, and then we'll come back for sort of a final assessment. But I'm not sure. The blending bit is quite clever, but the paint itself, I don't know. But it has tidied the bonnet up. I can't, I can't say it hasn't tidied the bonnet up because it has. Right, I'm going to give it another go, and we'll come back a bit later. Okay, so this is after a second attempt. You still see this one's quite bad, this one's quite bad. That one's not really resolved, nor is that. Um, so I don't know, it's it's not great. I mean, it, it, it's certainly tidied the bonnet up, for sure. Um, but I think it is, there are some like this one, and this one where it's gonna really struggle. And I don't think the claims of body shop standard repairs are justified. So, I don't know. Don't know, gonna have another go at it, just because I've got nothing else to do. But um, yeah, I'm not sure, not sure about Chipex, so just bear that in mind. This is an honest review of it. Um, yeah, there you go. Uh, I'm just gonna have a go at this one, which is obviously quite bad. Um, just to see, I don't have any, again, any hope that it's actually gonna work, but um, yeah, let's give it a go on that as well. Really bad. So it looks unfortunately like the weather is gonna be against me. So I'm gonna have to get this off now faster than I should do really so we're not going to get a result today <sighs> sick of it where's the sunshine the dry river okay so I spent probably getting on for an hour now doing this going round and round the sort of the same bits and not really getting any further forward so I've only obviously done the um, the painting and the blending I have done the polishing but let's be honest polishing isn't going to make much of a difference really it's just not um, so I've had another go at the three worst bits and um, I'll give it another couple of goes but the weather is absolutely freezing cold looks like it's going to rain at any minute so you need to be doing this on a not as hot sunny day when you've got nothing to do the main problem is you've got to wait 15 minutes between each coat before you try and take it off so there's a lot of hanging around while you're waiting and yeah, I don't know. It's 40 quid. It's a lot of money, this paint. I don't know that... In some places, it's really good. Where, where you've got a really, really tiny stone chip, it's quite good. But you can still see the stone chip. You can still see there's an indentation in the paint. And it looks like you're filled in, but there's not lots of muck around it, which you get with normal touch of pens. So, yeah, I don't know. I'm not, not convinced, but it has certainly tidied the bonnet up for now. I don't know that it's tidied it up for 40 quid's worth of, of now. Does that make sense? So anyway, we'll keep at it and uh, see how we get on. Um, I've been sort of repeatedly touching up and polishing off and touching up and polishing off. And uh, this is where we're at. So I'll be honest, it's actually looking pretty good. We've got a couple of really stubborn ones here and here and up here, but they were quite deep anyway. So I've just got another another coat on those. See that there and that there. But if you look at the bonnet now, to how it was two or three hours ago, 
it actually looks pretty good. And also, this is quite surprising, the big one on the wing has now virtually disappeared. It's got another little blob on it there that I've got to get off in a minute, but I've done that again. So that's actually looking pretty good as well. And there were some other scratches along here. Kind of done the same thing with but i don't expect them to be perfect on that because that's not what it's designed for so interesting so i've still got to polish it yet but i don't think polishing is going to make any difference whatsoever um but put it like this right if i was going to sell that car now i'd feel a lot better about the state of it for the next buyer with the chip axe kit for 40 quid so hmm, perhaps it's not so bad after all i mean it's this you know there's no doubt it's improved the car significantly. Look. With a polish to go and it's dirty. I mean, from where I'm standing now with the camera, I can see the blobs, but I can't see anything else. I could see it covered in stone chips earlier. So I think if you ignore the um, marketing hype, um, it's actually pretty decent. You get a pretty decent result from it. And it's certainly good enough that you don't have to go rush into a body shop or body shop with it. So uh, yeah, there you go. That's an honest review of Chipex. I'm not blown away by it, but it's pretty good. And for the money you're paying, it's certainly a lot better than a touch up pen. So there you go. So if you like this sort of stuff, thanks for watching. Um, do subscribe for the next video and uh, I'll see you soon.